Hello, it's uh, Adil Fazale, a market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Friday, the uh, 6th of July 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so um, a, a strange session, really, uh, given the fact that uh, Mr. Trump did confirm that he was uh, obviously going ahead with his tariffs. They've certainly kicked in now in terms of China. Also, the Chinese have actually confirmed. Uh, initially, they did put out a very mixed message, and that's obviously caused a, a potential gap higher overnight in European and US equities uh, to a large extent, but that certainly has been negated now with confirmation from China as well that they've basically um, obviously uh, matched the uh, tariffs uh, from the US's side and said that uh, this was not an escalation on their behalf. Okay, so uh, having said that, though, Asian markets have rallied. The Nikkei and the Shanghai certainly closed higher uh, overnight. Uh, a lot of that is due to the fact that... Uh, uh, the bearish news certainly is baked into a cake to a large extent, as you can see Shanghai index down quite significantly. Uh, approaching that support level, it certainly is finding a bounce. Nikkei certainly closed up as well, 1%. Shanghai up 0.4%, 0.5%. Whether or not that, that obviously lasts, if it is a different story altogether, okay? So bear that in mind as well. In terms of the Nikkei as well, I mean, Nikkei to a large extent was certainly oversold as well. Okay, so... Uh, it certainly looks like it's uh, sell the rumor by the news. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the event that's occurred. Okay, now in terms of European markets, then uh, yesterday Mr. Carney was certainly hawkish. That certainly will keep a lid on the FTSE. Although having said that, you have the concerns with regards to Iran and Iranian oil concerns, and that certainly is helping lift or keep oil afloat. And therefore, obviously, in turn, that will obviously cause the FTSE certainly to keep afloat as well. And the counter argument to that is Mr. Trump's argument that uh, oil prices are very high and he's calling it a cartel and so on and so forth, and he wants oil prices to move lower. Again, that certainly is further uncertainty there as well. So Mr. Trump really does create a lot of uncertainty, and I'm not sure how he's going to get this potential growth revived with, with given his character. Either way, I think you know my opinions on that dimwit, okay? Um, really, it's not worth even wasting my time on that individual anymore. Let's move on. Okay, in terms of FOMC, uh, the uh, the minutes certainly were um, neutral, okay? Strike struck dovish because they did uh, uh, refer to uh, con uh, the concerns regarding potential global trade going forward. Having said that as well, Mr. Carney also uh, indicated as well, very uh, popular article now doing the rounds, that Mr. Carney did say that the US would lose 5% in terms of golf growth and the US would be the ultimate loser in terms of any potential trade war. And that certainly is the case at present. Having said that though, US equities have been saved to a large part, uh, certainly have been protected while Chinese market equities obviously have been sliding ever since. Okay, so let's just see if that, that, that obviously continues to transpire. Either way, it certainly seems that tax cuts in the US certainly are keeping the economy afloat. Okay, in terms of European numbers this morning, then industrial production out of Germany came in stronger than expected, although uh, German car sales data with regards to Mercedes certainly came in weaker. French trade balance came in weaker as well. Italian retail sales coming in stronger. Now, we are looking to, towards the NFP numbers, okay, average weekly hour, every, uh, uh, weekly hours and earnings. Unemployment rate, uh, trade balance as well, uh, Canadian data as well in terms of uh, employment. So again, that's going to be quite important uh, from two of the biggest economies. Okay. In terms of the technical picture then, given the fact that Asian markets bounced overnight, let's see exactly where we are, especially in terms of the German DAX and the potential trade war going on there as well with regards to Europe. So um, again, daily chart certainly is reversing at the moment. Okay. Uh, a 60 minute chart certainly is holding that double top you can see that clearly on the 10 minute chart okay give you an insight here so double top certainly holding it looks like we were certainly attempting to close that gap below now so watch out for the gap below you do have support in this zone here which is 12 4 10 so watch out for that zone and ultimately you got gap fill at 12 3 20 so looking for risk off here in terms of the french cac here let's see exactly what's going on now the daily chart of the french cac at the moment uh, we've retraced, we've come into previous support equals resistance, okay, coming back right back into that zone. You do have multiple uh, unfilled gaps above those, bear that in mind, okay. There's quite a few gaps here on the French CAC that we uh, certainly need to keep an eye out for, so I'll just draw them in for you, okay. So all those gaps are certainly quite important, okay. In terms of the Fibonacci retracement, pivot high to pivot low, we retraced 38 to 50 percent, okay. So again, you do have an unfilled gap below at 5140. Given the trade war concerns, one would certainly expect that to close. Okay, 60 minute chart on the French CAC again. You've closed that gap, that gap is quite important there, uh, and it certainly seems to be uh, potentially uh, holding resistance. Now, we do have two unfilled gaps below, so watch out for the two gaps below. That's what I would say with regards to that. Okay, now 10 minute chart at the moment again, you're looking like it's a gap fill at the moment. That's a 10 minute chart basically where we are. 
Again, if the market continues to flush, there is a further gap below, so watch out below as well. You've got uh, gap fill support at uh, 5366. You've got support at 5350. Uh, you've got support here as well at 53 uh, 5350 yep and then you've got Gapville ultimately at 5320 so watch out below in terms of French CAC now FTSE 100 uh, again it looks like that key resistance at 7630 is crucial and detrimental at the moment FTSE certainly is reversing uh, now from my perspective given the fact that we've got trade war concerns etc the only thing that's really keeping FTSE afloat is oil and therefore that's great it's a lot of uncertainty there again any uh, the market certainly could go in either direction but we all know our trade war concerns are bearish for oil, bearish for commodities as well, so watch out there. Okay, uh, and let's see if that can certainly be ultimately bearish for the dollar. Either way, 7630 is your resistance. Support is seen at uh, 7580, then 7560, then 7540, then ultimately 7500. So let's see if we can touch those levels below. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really of European uh, indices then. So uh, it really is a, a quagmire at the moment in terms of which way the market goes, especially given the fact that Asian markets rallied overnight. That was quite a strange one. Okay, so again, we need to interpret that, uh, whether or not that certainly is going to be the uh, the status quo for, for, for going into the US session. That certainly will be crucial and key. Either way, just need to keep an open mind. Okay, uh, for my bias at the moment, certainly remains bearish, but I could certainly switch to any further comments and any potential new policy actions. On that note, please be sure to visit uh, Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. Okay, and uh, certainly take uh, take advantage of that bonus with CFD.com. Goodbye.